we are learning more and more about how an unverified report of Russian blackmail attempts against the president-elect reached United States officials. The Trump dossier was compiled by former British spy Christopher Steele, who has since gone into hiding. Steele shared the information with Sir Andrew Wood, Britain's former ambassador to Russia. Wood said he found it credible enough to present it to Senator John McCain last November at a security conference in Munich. Charlie Daggett, outside MI6 headquarters in London, spoke with Wood. Charlie, good morning. Good morning. MI6 headquarters, home to Britain's secret intelligence services, where the man behind the Trump dossier learned his craft. Christopher Steele is now in hiding, but the former ambassador to Moscow knows him well and says the practice of sexual entrapment in Russia is rife. Presidents often. Sir Andrew Wood says he can readily vouch for Christopher Steele because he's known the ex spy for years. And as Britain's former top diplomat in Moscow, he's seen politicians and businessmen alike targeted by Russia's secret services. United States diplomats are expressly told to avoid sexual entrapment. Is it the same for British diplomats? Well, yes, of course. Your caution is specifically about Russia. Well, certainly. Because he said nowhere else are honey traps and blackmail part of the spying playbook as it is in Russia. No question about it. No question. No question whatsoever. And I, I it's one of those things that uh, one supposes everybody knows. So I had a lot of favorites. Everybody, like President-elect Donald Trump himself, here at the Miss Universe pageant in Moscow, who said he routinely warned his own staff to beware of honey traps while in the country. The dossier itself contains unverified allegations. Mr. Trump says it's a complete fabrication. Wood told us he doesn't know if the allegations are true, but somebody like Donald Trump would certainly be a potential target. He's a position of, of, of uh, possible influence in the United States. Uh, no one, I suppose, knew that he was going to become president then, but um, why not give it a go and stick it away for possible use later? Because that's what Russians do. Yes. The Russians may be looking for Christopher Steele, too, but he's gone to ground after telling one of his neighbors to look after his cats. What we do know is that he's not under the protection of Britain's secret intelligence services. Gail? All right, Charlie Daggett, I learned something new. A honey trap. Yeah. I'm going to be aware of and a honey that, trap. And that Steele has cats. Yes. Yeah. Being well cared for. <laughs> but wouldn't you love to talk to Steele? Yes, very much so.